Ocelot will make their way back to the main metropolis to gather more materials in case they were needed. As they strolled along the street looking for things they might want to buy, their eyes caught an unnaturally colorful stall down the street that appeared to be covered in bright blue paint and golden glitter, almost as if it was specifically painted to catch the eye. If it was, it most certainly worked. To satisfy their curiosity, Ice immediately made their way towards it to check what it was about. When they made it to the stall, they found it completely deserted. There was no shopkeeper, tender, or anyone. On the counter, there was a scroll of paper that gave Ice the impression of a stereotypical treasure map, as it appeared to have aged quite a lot. They quickly looked around to confirm if the stall was actually deserted, just to make sure. Having gotten confirmation that no one was anywhere near the area, they took the scroll and opened it up. They found themselves looking at exactly what they thought it would be, a map with a hand-drawn compass, landscape, and a big red cross. Considering the lack of people guarding said map, or the shop that it was laid in, Ice assumed that it was either left behind by someone, or it was a trap. They decided to leave it behind, as not to trigger the trap if it was one. Ice walked right back to the main street to return back to looking for supplies to get. Out of simple curiosity, they looked back behind them to check the stall again. To their surprise, it vanished, as though it never existed. They took a quick mental note of where it used to be, and decided to ask one of their workers if they knew anything about it. Once they decided that they did not have anything to get from the metro anymore, they left and started hiking back to their town.